Amelia here. Thanks for watching today. We are going to talk about the canter and how to keep your feet in the stirrups in the canter. I've noticed with a lot of my riders, they have a pretty good leg position in the trot, but when they go to the canter, because it's a harder gait, that often they end up losing their stirrups or um, their stirrups will kind of slip back onto the arch of their foot back here instead of being able to keep their stirrup on the ball of their foot where it belongs. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It really helps me out if you guys can do that for me. So a couple of reasons why this happens and how it affects your horse. So first of all, I think a lot of people their horse is a little behind the leg in the canner and doesn't stay in the canner. So people end up gripping with their leg and to keep the horse going. And when they grip with their leg, they kind of draw their leg up. And this is going to cause your stirrup to slip. And either you're going to lose the stirrup or the stirrup's going to go back to the arch of your foot. And neither one of these things is safe. It's really important to keep the ball of your foot on the stirrup. Some horses, if you lose the stirrup, it can really scare them. Um, and it can also cause you to lose your balance. So the first way to fix this is to get your horse in front of the leg. Um, the other thing that I notice that goes along with this is that sometimes riders will lose one stirrup or the other. So often horses will lean to one side, um, mostly to the right. Horses will lean into the right in the right lead canter and that will cause you to lose the right stirrup because you're trying to compensate by leaning to the left. So getting your horse straight and your horse in front of the leg is gonna help to keep your foot in the stirrup. The other thing you'll notice, which I'm going to demonstrate here in a moment, is that when you tighten up your legs and lose your stirrups and grip with your leg, it locks up your hip and then you end up bouncing in the saddle and you're not able to follow the motion of the canter. So Fargo is going to help us demonstrate that today. And he's a very good demo horse. Lots of horses um, don't tolerate the rider making mistakes and kind of tightening up or letting me demonstrate these things. But Fargo's good because he actually is very tolerant of the rider making mistakes, which is important when um, you're an amateur and you're just learning that you have a horse that is tolerant of you making mistakes. So I'm going to pick up the canner. So first I'm gonna demonstrate correctly how I'm riding him. So you can see here, I have the ball of my foot on the stirrup. My heels are down. My hips are moving with his canner. And uh, in a few of my videos, I've talked about your ankle joints. So my ankle joints are moving. So every time his front feet hit the ground, my ankle joints are going down, 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 down. And this is helping me to keep my stirrup and keep my leg long. Now he's also in front of my leg enough that I don't have to kick him every stride or keep squeezing him to keep him going because I've trained him that he just should keep cantering until I tell him to trot. Now let me show you what a lot of riders do is in the canter. They grip with their inner thigh and they lean a little forward. It's hard to keep them going when I do this. And then their legs start doing this. So you can see how the stirrups are loose on my foot now. The stirrups are, oh, and there I lost my right stirrup. So when, when the stirrups get loose on your foot, and start swinging around like this, then you're likely to lose them. You'll also notice, let me go back to cantering normal for a moment. That's really hard to do. So when I tighten my leg like this, you also notice that my seat tightens. So my seat, my butt, is no longer following the motion of his back. I'm kind of thumping on his back. So. The biggest way to get those, to keep your stirrups in the canner is one, get your horse in front of the leg. So say, come on, get in front of my leg. 
and then think about those ankle joints going down 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 every time your horse front legs hit the ground and their mane goes down your ankles and your legs need to go down and your bum at that moment it's ankles down and then your bum swishes from the back to the front of the saddle so let me change direction and go to the right so often what I see on the right lead is that a lot of horses on the right lead can or most horses are stiff to the right and like to lean into the right so most horses on the right lead canter want to go around with a little counter bend and falling in to the right like this. And then what most riders do is they feel this happening so they try and put their right leg on to move the horse out and then they do this with their right leg. So they hike that knee up and they're, they're kind of leaning off to the left and they're trying to get their horse to move out to the right. Sorry, they're trying to get their horse to move off the right leg over to the left. In doing that, they lose their stirrup. So if you're losing your stirrup because your horse is crooked, you need to give them a kick with the right leg, be able to move them over to the left rein, and then get that right leg long so that you can go back to thinking that your ankles sink down to the ground. So down, 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 and your hip moves down and forward every stride with the canner like so oh boy Fargo and you can see how Fargo is really tolerant of all of this I have some horses that if I was doing all this monkeying around up here they would it would scare them and they wouldn't like it so Fargo is a really super tolerant great horse to learn on and he's worth his weight in gold because of that so comment below let me know if this was helpful to you guys and let me know which side your horse likes to lean in and if you find that that's the side that you lose your stirrup more on thanks for watching